Hello everyone, my name is Other Jacket Guy, and in today's video we'll be looking and fixing this lot of trains I found on Facebook. Here are a few pictures from the listing, and in short it came with a set of LGB straights, four switches, a mixed bag of curves, plus an additional gondola. And we'll mainly be focusing on the train set for today as track is track. Taking this particular train set out of its box was actually quite interesting as unlike every other Bachman set I own, which you flip a lid up to get the set out, this one you actually push it out much more like a traditional HO scale train set. And I will admit I did struggle with it for a little bit, but I eventually got it out. And we'll start with the caboose taking it out of the box. The caboose doesn't look too bad itself, but it does look very dirty and it almost seems like there's something inside of it. Got a bit of styrofoam stuck to it, but overall it's not too bad. So with it out of its box, we'll just disassemble it a little bit for further cleaning and leave it on the table. Next we'll be getting the box car out of its box. And well it doesn't look too bad upon first inspection. As you can see, the top is a little bit dirty, nothing too off there. It looks like this number is a little bit dirty, got a brown spot there or something. We'll see if we can't get that off. Other side doesn't look too bad. Could still use some cleaning, but oh, ooh, yeah, that roof, that's, that's gonna need to come off, because that looks absolutely terrible. But the ends don't look too bad, and none of the handrails are bent, surprisingly. And with that, let's leave it on the table and look at the engine. And since it's here, we'll take a little look at the gondola. It's in Denver and Rio Grande. I believe this is from one of the RC Bachman trains that just kind of has that feel. It's very dusty, just like everything else that's here. Quite dirty, and uh, the handrails amazingly aren't bent. And I guess, well, when you just sit on a shelf, what else do you really have to do but not bend your handrails? And it is missing the cut bar from the back, which is a little bit of a shame, but not exactly uncommon. Taking a look at the inside, it is horrible. That is caked on dust and dirt, and I don't know what kind of previous life this car had, but it was fun. And in getting the tender out of the box, we can take a real close look at it as well. Upon first inspection, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of dusty, got a little bit of the styrofoam thing going on. The back doesn't look too bad, actually. It's in a remarkably good shape, and it looks like everything on it works. That's supposed to move. Get that little bit of styrofoam off. Front, eh, it's dirty, but it doesn't look too bad. The wheel's bent like normal. The other side, again, not too bad. A little bit of that styrofoam stuff. We do have the silver painted trucks on it. And taking a look at the wheels, eh, they have a little bit of rust on them in certain spots, but it's nothing major. And with that being said, let's put it on the table and take a look at the locomotive. Getting the locomotive out of its box was a little bit tricky, but it did eventually come out. The locomotive doesn't look too bad upon first inspection. I mean, it is quite dusty, as you can see there on the cab. And there was a little bit of cor corrosion on the bell, but nothing too bad. The front of the engine looks really nice. Its smoke box door does still work, and the switch still is inside of it. And it really just doesn't seem like there's any major reason it would sit on a shelf. Whistle's all there. The back of the cab looks quite nice. Connector's still there. And again, a little bit of corrosion on the bell, but there is something rocking around inside of it. It doesn't come up on camera real well, so just trust me on that. But we'll set it on the table and get ready to clean. Before we get washing, I will take off the trucks on these cars so that they don't rust any further than they already kind of have. So to clean the gondola, I think the best thing I found was to fill it with water a little bit first and then give it some of the Dawn soap watery mix that I made up and slush it around, basically to try and clean the car, break everything up. And it worked okay, but it, I needed to do this to it about three or four different times before I got absolutely everything out of the gondola, and I even had to end up using a brush, which unfortunately I didn't record. The box car very much was a different story. I mainly just ran it underneath the faucet in that rather small sink, and used a wet cloth with the Dawn soap on it to wash a majority of the stuff off. A bit of that roof stuff came off, or actually basically all of it, with the exception of in between the very thin lines in the roof. I couldn't get that brown smudge off of the number, so that will just have to exist forever. But otherwise, the car cleaned up really nicely. 
cleaning the caboose, followed much of the same suit, rinse it out, wash it off, rub it a little bit with the towel until everything came off or as best as I could get it off. Here's all the rolling stock reassembled and cleaned. I do promise I cleaned the engine in a much nicer way, but it was hard to film, so I unfortunately had to cut it out. But this is what it all looks like cleaned. Let's test the locomotive. As you can see in here, it does run, but it's making some really bad noises and doesn't run particularly well, so let's open up the locomotive. So we're going to be taking uh, what's supposed to be four screws out of the bottom of the locomotive, but there's only three. And some of these screws don't really feel like they're holding anything together, which is normally a bad sign. Taking the actual bottom plate off, we can take a look inside, and it's not looking good. Here's a close-up of inside the engine, and it looks like the motor's been glued back in, a mount's broken, it's not looking good. And here's that screw mount, and it is very broken, that's not going back together. If we take a look at the wheels, we can see they're rusting, and that means water got into this box at some point. Again, a not another good sign. And the front pilot truck, his wire is broken. So I have devised a real big brain, high IQ, Dutch level plan of put it back together and hope it continues to run for the rest of the time I own it. And while trying to run it again, the valve gear decided to play up. And here it is. It decided to bunch up and it was easily fixed, but it is annoying. I did run the locomotive a little bit more, hoping its performance would improve, which it kind of did. And I also decided to test the sound function, and unfortunately that didn't work. I have no idea if the smoke unit works either, as I have no smoke fluid to put in it. Overall, I don't think I got too bad of a deal. I mean, a train set is a train set, and it needed some cleaning. It doesn't work the best, but it is another piece of the collection. And I do have this locomotive sister from the Bumblebee train set, so... Now I can finally run it, and let's see it run. everyone it looks like the locomotive has finally bitten the dust and it's dead in the water I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching and if you'd like to see more content like this please consider subscribing one of these days I may get a new base for this locomotive that has a whole new gear mechanism from Bachman one that's better and hopefully a funnel that's not bent out of place again thank you all so much for watching and bye for now